Hey y'all, I'm back with another tutorial, Perm Rock Curls. So, right now I just have an old twist out and um, we're just gonna section our hair off in the back into a section and then we're gonna tie the rest of our hair up in the front. section off in the back we're just going to take um, another section and saturate it with water and then we're going to use Tresemme Naturals conditioner and then we're just going to finger detangle. Finger detangling is a must because this is an old twist out and I did not wash my hair. I use Garnier Fruity Style Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. And we're just gonna take some of that and just put that on there as well, just to help to keep um, uh, frizz, to keep your hair away from frizz. And then right after that, we're gonna take a little bit of Mrs. Jessie's Curling Pudding. And we're just gonna put that in there as well and work it through your hair from your roots to your ends. gonna take the perm rod and we're just gonna roll our hair up um, try not to uh, overlap your hair that way it can it could come out better it could be a better curl and it's actually easier for it to dry as well uh, even overnight so now I will be just doing the process um, two more times just in case you didn't catch it the first time. Um, once again, we're going to section off from the back. We're going to saturate it with water. Then we're going to take the Tresemme Naturals conditioner and finger detangle well. Then we're going to take um, the Garnier Fruities Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk and then take Mrs. Jessie's Curling Pudding and then roll your hair up. And by the way, um, I'm rolling under. It's just the uh, way I wanted the curl to come out. just showing you what the back looks like and now we're gonna start with the front and we're gonna do the same exact thing uh, the only thing that I do differently is uh, roll the perm rod towards my face kind of sideways but towards my face at the same time in the back I just rolled it any way uh, I wanted to but I kind of wanted the curls to fall towards my face so that's why I'm sectioning it off a little differently Just make sure that your hair is completely dry. Um, 
at this point in time, I actually did, and it was kind of still just a tad bit damp. I could have at least used, you know, one more hour, but it's okay. I still was happy with the results. So now we're just going to take out our perm rods um, one by one, and as you're taking them out, uh, you might see me do, um, when I take one out, I hold the curl, or you could just unravel it all the way. Anyway, you want to take it out, just make sure that you do not just pull it out or are all taken out um, you just want to separate your hair and all this does is give you more volume uh, you can actually use a uh, pick and pick out your hair for more volume uh, technically throughout the day my hair gets more volume anyway and it gets a lot thicker and a lot bigger so I won't even be using the pick part but now right here you'll just see me um, just separating the curls just to give it uh, that full look This is just another look. You can either put it all to the side and then bobby pin it down. I kind of did like the side uh, look, but I kind of wanted to go with my look that I always do with a part kind of slightly on uh, on the side and then most of my hair on one side of my head. It just kind of fits my face. So it, it really just matters on what you actually want to do and how you want it to look. Unfortunately, my lighting was bad. I was really trying to get a picture of the curl pattern after I got done fondling with my hair. But this is the best that I can do. So this is how I like to wear my style. I just like to wear it over to the side like I said before. And now I'm just basically just showing it off because I love how it came out. Do y'all see that bounce? I love it. I am so in love with the way my hair came out. So I hope you guys try it. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. See you next video.